can I get you? Okay. <laughs> yeah, he has power these muscles. Andy, do you yeah. fucking understand? He's gonna power yeah. these. This, this is awesome. like, this is memes for fucking years. Dude. Yeah. That's so why I rush you, man. the best. Wait, it doesn't say shake well on it anywhere. Where do you see that? This is fucking retarded. Now I've fucked all the shit up. And I can't twist it at all. Alright guys, let's be serious for a second, okay? I don't want to be insensitive. But Total Biscuit is gone now. There's a lot of people posting stories about him, that he's like the nicest guy ever, even in real life, okay? I met him in person when I did the um, Blizzard shit, when I got invited down to there, I don't even remember what for. And I hung out with him a decent amount and we chatted and whatnot, okay? And he's actually a pretty nice person in real life. That's it, there's not anything else in the story. That's all. He was a pretty cool dude. In every, every real life spot I ever saw. H3H on Elon Musk. Oh, I don't have to read it. I already know what it's going to say. They're going to say everyone's attacking Elon, but we're on his side. The media is corrupt. I think he's got a good point. I can't wait for that company to come online. 77 millimeters of mercury, 700... Nope. Yep. Wow, how am I so good? Oh, wow. It's almost like Ethan is a totally predictable gamer, bro, that has reactionary anti-SJW commentary that falls in line with every other fucking... Escape. You need to... In your car... Uh, I don't drive. Oh, shit. A lot of cars have daytime running lights, but if you pull up the e-brake just a tad, not enough to actually activate the emergency brake, but enough to, like, kill your front headlights, you can, like, creep around and no one can see you driving anywhere. And so it was, like, it was nighttime, and I'm, like, creeping around. I, like, I drive kind of through the neighborhood, and I pull out at a different area to watch her drive down the street because I want to make sure she's actually leaving and she's not going to, like, circle back and uh, yeah. fuck my shit up. So, <laughs> so I, like, I pull out. And I fucking, I'm driving, and she's driving down the street, and she gets, like, fucking, like, T-boned at this fucking intersection. <laughs> and my mind is like, what the fuck? And I, like, I flip a U-turn, and I drive back to my fucking house. And I'm like, I'm so stressed out because I, for like a half second, I'm like, am I like responsible for this? Like, am I going to get in fucking trouble or some shit? And I like fucking, I drive back to the house where I park and I'm like sitting in my room and it was just so fucking awkward. I couldn't even fucking believe. Here is my absolutely nuclear take. This is one of the most nuclear takes I've ever nuked on stream before. Here you go. <clears throat> Here it comes, boys. If TF Blade is going to get a ban for any length of time for saying idiot, then Pokemon should be retroactively banned for 30 days for saying Anivia. That's my, that's my take. Because when I listened to the Pokemon clip, I had to listen to it like 15 times. And I was like, oh, I think I see what happened. I think I, I, think I can see like what, what is going on here. When I listen to that TF play, I still can't hear him saying, um, actually, I don't know if anybody, I can't hear it at all. I can't hear it. That we'll never agree on this, okay? But this is really awesome, all right? I don't know what it was like when you guys were kids, but when I was in school, nobody fucking played video games. There were some kids that played video games, but it wasn't like everybody. It was pretty, it was, you were in the minority of the group. So if you get like a whole classroom full of people and they're doing like dumb video game dance related shit or whatever, I think that's pretty cool. When I was in school, nobody did it. Now I understand a lot of you guys are like fucking 19 or 20 years old and you guys like maybe don't do that shit as, or you don't, you don't understand my lived experiences, but this should be like a good thing. Like, I don't understand like what people expect like seven year olds to fucking do. Like, hey, seven year olds, Everybody get up and talk about your favorite game. <clears throat> My favorite game was actually the Witcher series because I really like the expanded world they built and how they incorporated politics and intrigue and different races of people together in such a highly sophisticated way that felt like it was emulating the actual real world that we live in today. Um, the level of depth that that game... Like, they're fucking seven years old. What the fuck kind of games do you think they're going to like? Like, come on, guys. Let me see the Mr. Moon haters out there. Everybody get your hands up right now, okay? Let's see him. Get your apathers out, guys. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. That's a few in the dome. Make your face more fucked up than your broken home. 
when I fill up your mom with a load or two. Then you open the door crying because you thought this dick was for you. This ain't a sequel. You wish this was Destiny 2. These lyrics is way too fat, just like you. Now sit the fuck down and leave this mess before I dumpster you harder than I do in chess. <laughs> so, the funny thing here is the comparison that you draw is so apt and it summarizes your internal thought process so much. Because essentially what you're saying is that showing off um, or wearing a certain type of clothing basically endows you with the same types of considerations as a type of car. You're literally objectifying the person, right? If a car looks a certain way, I ought to comment on it the same way that if a person looks a certain way, I ought to comment on it. And what you completely unintentionally have done is shown that in your mind, right, woman is analogous to car in this example, right? Whatever respect or consideration I would give to a car is what I would give to a woman. If somebody were to drive in a Ferrari, that looks really nice. I'm going to say whatever I want about it. Much the same way that if a woman looks a certain way, I'm going to say whatever I want about that it, right? You, you literally, it's literal objectification. As well as, of course, legacy esports like Count Strike and Dota. We've got some newer games mentioned in the nominations tonight. Do you think Fortnite's going to be a good esport? Um, I'm not 12, so I've never played that game. So no opinion. Finally, Duncan... Th My face when your job is professional video game commentator and you make fun of how old other people are for playing fucking video games. My fucking face when you don't even play the video games you fucking commentate. Oh. <clears throat> to be clear, if you're married, there's nothing wrong with that. If you're married and you want to be a sexy girl, there's nothing wrong with that. And then if you're married and you want to be a sexy girl and you don't want to tell anybody, like you want to keep that part of your life private, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But when you're deliberately lying on stream and saying things like, man, you know, it sucks being single and you know, I haven't gotten laid in so long. I feel like the type of donations that you're baiting there kind of makes you a scumbag, but I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe if I think about it more, maybe I wouldn't feel that way. Are you gonna pull any more hair out? No, I'm just gonna sleep right here. Why don't you go to your fucking bed to sleep? Yeah, get the fuck out of here. This is my bed. Only cool people over here. Get to the thought corner. <laughs> That's right, Sigourney. No, this is no neo-Nazis allowed over here, all right? All right, where are my boys at? Fuck, is Alinity gonna DMCA my We're entitled like Crybaby Generation because you're too fucking lazy to take uh, responsibility for the audience that you have online while you sit on your fucking ass and play video games and make hundreds of thousands of dollars for it? You make a fucking quarter million a year fucking talking about dumb shit on a stream and you can't con like control your audience even a little bit? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, I don't know. There there's like so many stupid fucking parts to that take. And, and like, all of it is not true. Like, everything we can look at how much money people get paid to influence others. We can look at how people's chats act differently. We can look at how people can ban people for acting in certain ways. Like, they're, like it's just wrong on every single level. Level. Like your take is falls apart fundamentally in like seven different ways. Like you can talk about like any part of that take and explain why how fucking stupid it is. But for some reason, train wrecks, one of the guys who gets more triggered than any other person on Twitch by subreddits, by his chat, by other people's chats, by other people's subreddits, that's the guy that's gonna come in and squad W about people being like too sensitive to online harassment. Like, come on. Trainwreck posted a full denial on the Alinity livestream fails dead. I'm actually a little bit upset that I um I'm actually like a little bit upset that I roasted Trainwreck so hard today. Like because like well, I guess this thread got popular. Like Trainwreck's posted some pretty cringy shit in chat, but like Alinity should be perma banned for this. Um like she should be banned for this. It, some of the stuff that like her and um, Amaranth get away with like actually really fucking bothers me. Like really, really, really fucking bothers me. But. Can't tell me that. Could we also get one fourth for her? <laughs> yeah. That's so fucked up. <laughs> Can you please have me that one? A fork for the Korean, what the fuck? Thank you, Lily. Okay. Hmm. 
Hi, Nathan. This is John Cena. I just wanted to say, keep being you. You are amazing. You are the dead meme, so get out of here. She tries to snipe tweets and shit on Twitter because she's losing fucking like Twitch relevancy, mean, and she like tries desperately to like hang on to it or some shit. I, I, honestly, I, 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 no, no, no. Listen here. You invite me on for a debate, and then I tell you because you invite me on to message my manager, which is not Brittany. An unreasonable why do you thing. have a manager? When you have you like three hundred viewers. Don't, you don't leverage don't any sponsors. Don't you don't have <laughs> any are like. Are you a debater? Shouldn't you know the rules of not speaking over someone? Oh. Yeah, someone, but you're a no one. Like, you're literally nobody. Why the fuck would I contact a manager to go through you, Brittany? You're half of somebody. Brittany, I'm not going to contact a manager to talk to a dying streamer. Like, do you, do you not understand that? Destiny, so clearly you're interested in something that I have. And then when my, guess what, when you tell me... Somebody was talking shit about me. Like um. copies of each other. And they're all upvoted to oblivion just because it's uh there's literal literal npcs dude they just they're just like shit like yes 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 destiny yes he's right yes like you just can't win dude so stop inviting them to your fucking you take channel, the or it's gonna ruin your channel and it's gonna ruin you and you're gonna end up fucking you know getting sick of it and do ditching like I wait a second greek is saying that my fans are doing something on a subreddit because of my actions <clears throat> One minute rings not far. Is Greek putting forth the argument that it's possible? There's a fight over here. They just threw a bangler over us. Yeah, there's a fight. That right a streamer here. could influence their audience to, to behave in a certain way. Do you think that's the argument that he's?